Once upon a time, you could book a flight and your ticket automatically included a free carry-on bag and sometimes even two free checked bags. And unless you were taking something ridiculously oversized or heavy, like, I don't know, heavy machinery, there was no issue. Not so much anymore. These days, airlines get you coming and going. Airline baggage fees can include normal checked bag fees, multiple checked bag fees, oversized luggage fees, overweight baggage fees, and I'm just talking about checked luggage here. Carry-on luggage is a whole other kettle of fish and one that I will address next week. So mash the button, do the thing, and stay tuned for that. Today, I am sharing 10 ways to avoid baggage fees when you're traveling with checked luggage so you can travel smart in style. All right, so I'm gonna get the obvious out of the way right off the bat and say, do you really need to travel with checked luggage? I mean, no judgment. I did it for years and sometimes I still do, especially if I'm going somewhere for a while and I want a few extra comforts of home while I'm at my destination. But in general, the weight of your luggage is equally proportionate to your level of misery on the road. Let me say that again. The weight of your luggage is equally proportionate to your level of misery on the road. And if you are moving around a lot and or flying multiple times, the pain, financially and otherwise, of traveling with checked bags may not be worth it. In the description, I've linked to a video about how to pack a carry-on suitcase that might give you some ideas for packing light. That said, if you are still on team check-in, go team. Let's reduce or eliminate those airline baggage fees. My first piece of advice is to choose airlines that don't charge for checked luggage. Ta-da! <laughs> that right there is what they pay me the big bucks for. <laughs> My work here is done. All right, it's not entirely that straightforward. While the number of airlines that don't charge for checked luggage is dwindling, they're still out there. However, here's the deal. If you do some comparison shopping, you may discover that the airlines that don't charge for checked bags may charge more for the ticket overall. So if you're not trying to get status on a particular airline or alliance that might sway you to choose that airline in the first place, you might find a different airline that has a cheaper ticket with a separate checked bag fee that might still cost less overall. You're not exactly avoiding the checked bag fee in the strictest sense, but you're saving money, so all good. A piece of advice here, read the fine print before you buy your ticket. This includes the allowable size and weight dimensions for your luggage. The last thing you need to discover after you've bought the ticket is that the airline charges exorbitantly for anything over a ridiculously low weight allowance. There's one airline that I flew with that required me to pay for my checked luggage by weight in advance. So I actually had to estimate how much my luggage was gonna weigh and select that amount. I, of course, didn't want to overpay for weight I wasn't going to use, but it was a bit stressful going to the airport and wondering if my luggage was going to get through without being overweight and getting some kind of penalty at the counter. I'll talk more about how to get around this in a bit. But first, there are a few other ways to avoid check baggage fees on airlines that would otherwise charge you, like taking advantage of airline credit card benefits. Some airline branded credit cards offer perks if you fly with that airline and one of those perks could be free checked bags. Now, again, make sure you're familiar with the fine print. Some cards only give you this perk if the ticket was booked with miles. Others only do it if it's a cash fare. And of the cash fares, sometimes you need to pay for the ticket with the card. And in other cases, the only thing you need to do is present the card at check-in to have the baggage fee waived. And not all airline check-in agents will be familiar with the credit card and its fancy rules, so it's doubly important that you know what you're entitled to and that you advocate for it. The same goes for loyalty programs, which might give you free checked bags for being a member. While in the odd, rare case, simply being a member of the airline loyalty program gives you free checked bags, more often than not, this is something that comes with status. The last way to avoid checked baggage fees might be to purchase a higher fare class. Many airlines break down their tickets into multiple classes of fares, and the most basic will likely be non-refundable. No priority boarding, you'll have to pay if you want to select your seat, you won't get as many miles, and you'll probably need to pay to check a bag. The higher the tier of airfare, the more perks you'll get. It may or may not work out to pay for a higher fare class just to get a checked bag versus sticking to the basic fare and paying extra to check a bag. This boils down to your trip, your travel preferences, the fare differences, and more. I have another video about how to book cheap flights that you might find interesting. Check it out in the description. But we are not done yet. 
Even if you don't pay to check a bag, you might still have to pay at the airport for the dreaded overweight checked bag fees. Dun dun dun. So here's how to avoid these pesky penalties. First up, know the rules and stick to them. A luggage scale can help you make sure your weight is within the limits before you even leave for the airport, thus saving you the stress of wondering if you'll get through without paying a baggage overweight fee. But if you're like me and you like to play it fast and loose, <laughs> Here are some other tips. Arrive early to the airport. If you are among the first people to check in for your flight, the check-in attendant might be more willing to let it go if you're a few pounds, or even kilos, overweight. The closer it is to boarding time, the more people there will be who will have checked in their bags. And the check-in agent might see that the overall weight per passenger limit is being stretched. And at that stage, they might be more likely to charge you for that extra weight. If your luggage is overweight and they're not willing to turn the other cheek, being at the airport early also gives you time to redistribute your luggage weight. This involves moving out of line, opening up your case, and basically repacking on the spot. Take the heavy stuff out of your checked luggage, luggage and put it into your carry-on bags and personal item bags. You can also actually put heavy stuff on. Hiking boots are a perfect example of something heavy you can wear to reduce the weight of your luggage. Also, load up your pockets. They don't penalize you if you're overweight, just your luggage. It's a bit ridiculous if you think about it, but just do what you have to do to get your luggage weight down. Then you can go back to the checking counter and try again. Even if you haven't totally redistributed the weight, if the check-in agent is in good spirits and you're jovial about it all, they might just give you bonus points for trying and let a little extra weight slip. Lastly, if you are sure that your bags are going to be overweight, sometimes you can pre-purchase an extra baggage allowance online, and it will cost less than if you do it at the check-in counter. You're obviously paying a fee in this instance, but you're saving a bit of money by not paying the full Monty at the last minute. Now, I'm gonna give one final hat tip to a strategy for avoiding checked bag fees, but paying for it in a different way, and that is to ship your luggage ahead of time. I know some people who swear by this strategy. It saves the hassle of traveling with checked luggage and worrying about the airline losing it or paying for oversized or overweight bags, yada, yada, yada. Now, anytime I've looked into this, the fee has been pretty high, but depending on the weight of your luggage and the distance you're traveling, it just might work out. There are a ton of companies that will ship your luggage for you, like these ones, which I'll also list in the description. The average cost to ship luggage from New York to London, for example, will depend on the size and weight of the luggage, as well as the courier service you choose. Generally, you can expect to pay anywhere from $50 to $200 for international luggage shipping. That's it for this week. Leave a comment if you have a strategy that I didn't cover to avoid baggage fees of the checked nature. And stay tuned next week to find some super slick tips for avoiding carry-on baggage fees. Till then, I'm Nora Dunn, AKA The Professional Hobo. Check out some of the videos on the next screen. Keep traveling smart in style.